Okay, we're recording. And sketchbook. Okay, so we're back. And I wanted to do a couple of examples. Uh oh. I have Sorry about that. There we are. A couple of examples of some derivatives of logarithmic functions, like you'll see in your homework. So, for example, let me look here. Y, oops, let me do a better job than that. Y equals natural log of X squared. Okay, so the derivative U is X squared. So it's gonna be one over U times the derivative of the goop inside the function, two X. So it'll be two X over X squared. And we'll be able to cancel at X two over X. Now, another way we could do this is if I write it, so y equals natural log of x squared, said in the last video that when you have a square inside here, you can take it out and make it a coefficient. So these two statements are equivalent. And now if I want to take the derivative of this run, y prime, so the two just kind of sits there, the derivative of the ln x is one over x. So we end up with two over x that way as well. Okay, let's look at another one. Hopefully you'll see that these are all the same. ln of x squared plus seven. Okay, we cannot take the x, the square out in front because there isn't a square in front of this one. The square has to be acting on everything inside the logarithmic function. So this cannot be simplified. So we will say y prime equals one over x squared plus seven times the derivative of the goop in the middle inside, which is two x. So two x over x squared plus seven. That's our derivative. And let's do another one here. Ooh, here's a fun one. This. Where's my cursor? There it is. Come on down here. This is going to be fun. Y equals natural log of 3x minus 9 squared. Ah, so this is like the power rule. So the derivative, so this is like u to the second power. And if you remember, y equals u squared, then y prime is 2u times the derivative of the goop inside u, u prime. So we'll do the same thing here. y prime is going to be 2 times ln of 3x minus 9 to the 2 minus 1, so first power, times the derivative of the goop in here. u is ln 3x plus 9. So the derivative of the goop inside there would be 1 over 3x minus 9 times the derivative of the stuff inside the natural log function. So we'll get a 3. So if we simplify this, let's see, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 ln of 3x minus 9 all over 3x minus 9. Oh, and there's a 3 there we could cancel out. Let's try to be as correct as we can. 2 ln 3x minus 9 over, so that would be x minus 3. There we go. So that's the derivative of that one. Let's do a couple more. New. Do you save? No, thank you. Okay. Where's my cursor? There it is. Y equals square root of, oh, sorry, natural log of, that was ugly, square root of x squared minus, oops, plus 6x minus 2.
So I don't really need the parentheses. I can write this as ln of x squared plus 6x minus 2, like that. But of course, we have learned that radicals are not as radical as they should be. LN, I'm going to write this as x squared plus 6x minus 2. Oops. Oh, don't do that again. Go away. Go away. 6x minus 2 to the 1 half power. Oops, I lost my screen. Oh, there it is. Okay, so to differentiate this, we have an exponent acting on something inside the logarithmic function. So I could write this as one half ln, I guess I don't need the parenthesis, ln of x squared plus 6x minus 2. Or I could leave it like this and just do it that way. So I'll do it both ways. So y prime equals, it would be 1 over x squared there we go plus 6x minus 2 to the 1 half power times the derivative of all of this stuff which would be we'd get a 1 half out front from the power <coughs> and then x squared plus 6x minus 2 to the negative 1 half times the derivative of the goop inside the function from our happy little chain rule, 2x plus 6. And this we could do some simplification. And you can do that algebra. I can see this one and that one are going to interact with each other. And so the one half will interact with this, but I'll leave that to you to look at. Let's look at this one here. If I want to differentiate that one, y prime would be one half times the derivative of that, which is one over x squared plus six x minus two times the derivative of u. This whole thing is u. So the derivative of the goop inside the logarithmic function will be 2x plus 6. You can see pulling that exponent out front simplified the derivative significantly. And so that makes it much easier to do. Let's do one more. And then we'll advance to some of the harder ones. Let's see here. Come on. OK. This is one that's like on your homework. Y equals log to the base six of X cubed minus seven. And you remember one of the rules, log base A of B was log B over log A or LN B <coughs> over LN A, which we'll use the second part there. So I'm going to rewrite this as natural log of x cubed minus 7 over natural log of 6. And I'll rewrite this again as 1 over natural log 6 times natural log of x cubed minus 7. Because 1 over natural log 6, that is just a number. This thing here. When we take the derivative, that's just a coefficient. Might as well be a 4 or a 2 there. It's the same thing. So when I take the derivative, that coefficient is going to stay the same. But now the derivative of natural log of x cubed minus 7 will be 1 over u times the derivative of the goop inside the natural log function. So that would be 3x squared. So we end up with y prime is 3x squared 
over natural log. Oops, that's a crummy looking end. Not much better. There we go. Okay. So we'll uh, end this video here and we'll do a couple more, more difficult problems in the next video. So let me, how can I do this? Stop share.